Hi, in this video I would like to explain how PHP iterators work. So you use them in one situation and this is the situation where you have an object and you want to iterate with a for each loop over the object. What you need to know about it is in order to use the for each loop you have to implement the traversable interface. But the traversable interface is a basic atom interface in PHP which means you can't implement it directly. There are two classes that you can implement to implement the traversable object, uh, the traversable interface. And this is the iterator interface or the iterator aggregate interface. And I would like to show on an example how this works. This is my current code here. And if I run it, I just get start iterating and I don't get anything else because my custom list is not iterable yet. So let's say I have private array and I would like to iterate over these values then I could do this by either implement the iterator or the iterator aggregate. So this should be used if you really want to iterate over the array. So I have uh, let me clean this up. Okay, so um, yeah, uh, the current one, let's just echo it out, it's current. The current one will give the current value where we are at. So usually you have something like key and current or value. And these are the current and key methods. They get this value. So I would also need something like a pointer. And the current object would be this array and then pointer. And the key is the pointer. Next would mean that I increase the pointer and rewind would mean that I set the pointer to zero to the beginning. Oh yeah, and let me also echo this out so we see what's actually happening. And finally, we need to check if the pointer is um, if the pointer has actually uh, a current and a key. So this can be shown if we just check if the array at this pointer exists, if it has a set, if there's a value set at position pointer. So let's quickly run this and as we can see the following is happening. So first we start iterating, this is this line, and then what's called behind the scenes if we do the for each is rewind is called. So pointer is set to zero, so actually I don't need this. Right, this will still work. Let me clear everything. So start iterating, rewind, pointer will be set to zero. And 
then it checks if if it's a valid pointer. Does this exist, this array? And he, it will return true because the array at position now is set. And then it calls current and key. So it gets the current, which is here, and it gets a pointer, which is zero. And key and current have are empty for some reason. So maybe I made a mistake here. Oh yeah, I didn't do the return. Whoops. So again. Current zero here. So this time it works. Then next is called. It checks if it's valid and then it gets again current and key. Next valid current key. So this is how it works. Next valid current key that gets the values. And then it does the last two calls are next and then valid. And at the next one, this is when the pointer is four, is not valid. Uh, then it stops. We could also go backwards in the array. This would be no problem. We just need to start with a pointer at three. And next has to uh, decrease the pointer. So if I do it, I start with three values, then two sum. 1r, 0 here, and then it stops. And of course, you can do all kinds of crazy things. You can write a linked list and then iterate over it by using the iterator. All this is possible. Um, this is just a very basic example. And besides the iterator, there's another interface that you can implement, which is the iterator aggregate. And it's much simpler to implement the iterator aggregate because it only has one function. Let's have a look at this. So my aggregator example, let's call it like this. So all I need to do here is public function get iterator and then return an iterator object. So in this case I could just say my custom list and if I iterate over this one I get the exact, exact same output. Right? So this is just taking, so this, the, the iterator aggregate is just an X turn, it's just a pointer to an X turn iterator. And of course, if you have an array, you usually don't want to implement the iterator. If you, let's say, let's say private array is, a, is like some value of this class and I want to iterate over it, then I would not write all of this from scratch because PHP has a list of iterators that you can use by default. And the array iterator is one of them. So if I want just to iterate over the array, all I would do is write new array iterator and pass the array. And that's it. Okay. Um, I hope this was a uh, you enjoyed the example and got the basics of how iterator works. So you either implement the iterator interface or the iterator aggregate. And in the next video, I'm going to talk about the iterator iterator. And soon after this, I will talk about the recursive iterator iterator. So stay tuned and thanks for watching.